Nvidia RTX 3080 GPU prices fall off a cliff overnight in Australia. Global prices should follow. Coming from WCCF Tech once again, following up on our reporting about Nvidia slashing GPU prices yesterday, a lot of sources have started corroborating the overreaching trend of declining prices. The most interesting report comes from a tweet by Hardware Unboxed via video cards, which says that prices of the RTX 3080 GPU in Australia have fallen from $22.99 to $14.99 Australian overnight, a decline of more than 35%. Combining this with the fact that a lot of retailers are trying to thin their inventory in case a bubble bursts and you have ripe conditions for a massive free fall in global GPU prices. The specific GPU in question is the Asus GeForce RTX 3080 Tough Gaming Overclock, which declined in price by 35% overnight. A fall of 35% overnight is unheard of and likely means that retailers are trying to shed the GPU at cost. As the prices get even more brutal, we will see some retailers trying to take losses to get rid of GPU inventory as well. With the Ethereum 2.0 merge coming up in the latter half of the year, the profitability of GPU mining is basically going to be halved. Uh, that's not, that's not how that works. That's no, that's not how that works at all. We actually don't know what the profitability will be due to the fact that we don't know how the rest of the markets are going to respond. The rest of the tokens, the coins, which coins are going to be better, which, which GPUs are going to be most profitable on the coin that decides to take off, right? We don't have any of this information. Uh, if we were talking about like a halving, but even then we have to adjust for price. I don't think that profitability can be stated that it will be halved. I think it could definitely go way below that. And I think that it could maintain above that just depending on, of course, the way everybody reacts to it, right? This will double the ROI return on investment time of a GPU and reduce the mining premium on GPUs right now. Well, the ROI on GPUs has already doubled, right? We were already looking at this. Even with the price drop of the 6700 XT last week, we already we see it still taking double of what it was when you were purchasing GPUs in 2019 and 2020. So as far as the ROI being doubled, that's already happened. Will we get a number, another doubling of, of the return on investment? Maybe, but that's already happened. So yeah. We're still in a semiconductor supply crunch situation, but with miners divesting their operations, the flood of secondhand GPUs should seriously depress global prices. Another tweet from 3D Center, who have been tracking GPU aggregates for a while now, shows that the high-end RTX 3090 is at its lowest price ever since last August as well and slated to go down further. There's also speculation that NVIDIA will keep the RTX 30 series alive alongside the 40 series, which should help supply even more. The reason why this makes sense is that both series are manufactured at different foundries, Samsung versus TSMC. And by doing this, NVIDIA effectively doubles their typical wafer allocation from a single foundry. If you are on the market or in the market, for a GPU, we should seriously advise you to wait. The overarching global trend for GV GPU prices is on a clear downward tra trajectory, and it makes a lot of sense to wait at this point. It is entirely possible that prices will actually get close to the original MSRPs in a few months as mining demand fizzles away and the accumulated influx of secondhand GPUs from mines satisfies most of the GPU demand out there. Intel is also launching its Alchemist GPU lineup this year, which will further improve GPU supply. So there is this overarching narrative for GPU shortage and pricing that is saying that for sure GPU prices are in decline and that it will decline further and you should wait a couple months. The things that we aren't clear on because if we wait a couple months, but the conflict is still continuing in Ukraine, then we have to worry about, of course, the 
materials coming from Ukraine to manufacture these GPUs and the shortage could get worse, in which case we could see a complete reversal of this in the next three months. So I don't want to say that you should just blanket statement wait. I think that definitely looking at the used market right now is a very good idea. I know that some people are starting to pick up some deals as far as that goes. Now, profitability yesterday was really bad for me on Ethereum, but that's not necessarily every day. And that was a specific case that we'll talk about with Crazy Pool. But in general, uh, GPU mining profitability has gone up over the past week, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if that's going to continue. We'll have to see. And then, of course, we're still keeping a close eye on Ethereum moving to proof of stake and what's going to happen there. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.